everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. I'm Melissa here. A welcome to your Melissa moment and a welcome to Toss It Tuesday. This is the last video for our kitchen. We have one cabinet left in my pantry and I've been putting this one off because there's a lot in here. So let's open it up and show you what we're dealing with, guys. Okay. Let me bring you a little closer if I can. So you can kind of see. Now, you're going to be on a bit of an angle, but that's okay. So we've got everything in here. I'm just going to start taking stuff out. I'm just going to start taking stuff out. I'm going to turn you a little bit because I'm going to be kind of over here. And we're just going to start on the bottom one. This is kind of where food is, okay? So as I take stuff out, I'm kind of going to make sure things aren't expired, okay? We've got nuts. Uh, we've got uh, broth. Pasta sauce. Some little snackies. The snackies I might take out and put somewhere else. I've got some cinnamon spread. I've got more snackies. Okay, we've got brown beans, corn, soup, black beans, tomato paste. we're going to take out. I got some pineapple, some more soup, diced tomatoes, more beans. Oh, we've got some sugar cookies. That should go in the baking section. So let's just put that over there for now. Uh, I've got more soup. left on this shelf is coconut water, which I have to start using. Um, I bought these specifically to make smoothies and stuff, and I haven't been making smoothies, so I have to use those. So I've got lots of coconut water, and I've got a couple little orange juice boxes um, for when I was having some low blood sugar issues. So I've got that in there. Now let me, I'll be right back, because I have some containers here. Um, now I don't know... If we're going to be using these for in here or not, I mean, they do fit. So I've got these little, these ones are divided. I've got two of these. What else do we have? We've got two of these ones. I used some of these in my fridge. I've got. Of these ones specifically for cans I thought I could use for my soups and beans and stuff and then I've got two of these really kind of large ones so that's what I have for my clear containers now I'm trying to decide how I want to do this because I can't stack the containers on top of each other, but I could put them in, you know, kind of one in front of the other maybe. Let's see. I bet you they're too long to fit. Maybe. 
Yeah, I can't fit them that way, but I could put two like that. These ones, will these fit? No, I can't do that either, unless I put it on the side, which I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Because these ones would be really good for like my little, like my little packets, right? I could put my packets in here. Let's see. in here, right? And then they're kind of organized. This is a soup, right? Because that kind of makes sense. So I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to set you aside for now. Um, and then these, should we put in here? What should we put in here, guys? Let's see. We've got to do the beans, the brown beans. That's fruit, fruit, that's a soup, fruit, fruit, beans, those are veggies, veggies, fruit, soups, these are veggies, tomatoes, will you fit? Oh, even the tomato one fits, okay. Um, beans. No, like I put my black beans, my kidney beans, but then this one I don't think I can stack on top. I think that's going to be too high. Let's try it. Oh no, actually that works. Okay, so those are all beans. So then maybe we should do my veggies. I've got a little tomato paste. Okay. Veggies. I might take these out. I'm going to set a couple of these coconut waters on my counter. So I'll see them and be like, oh, smoothie. I should do that because I forget about them. So let me do that. Um, now that creates just a little bit of room here, but I don't think, I think this one's too wide. Let's see. That's too wide, but this one would fit or that one's too wide too. Okay. So this is the only one we have left. Um, now we also have this little guy, which obviously I'm going to have to stick this way, which I'm not overly happy sticking it that way, but it's all right. It's okay. All right. Now the problem with this is, can I... Like that. Well, I don't know if this is any neater, you guys, because I still have to put like my soups here because I don't have room. And then I've got my sauces here. Which I guess is fine, but I've still got the cinnamon spread. I've got some bacon bits here. I wonder, I've got a pasta and I've got a broth and they won't fit in there. And this is a mess. We just did this, you guys, and it's a mess again. It's a mess again. I have to do it again. So frustrating, but that's fine. So... I don't know, you guys, if this is really worth it. Maybe I gotta take this out. Maybe that's where I want out. Because my faux can go here. 
Then I can put my soups here like this. Okay. Then I've got a pasta and my sauce and the sweet and sour sauce and the bacon bits, which are too tall, of course. So I guess I'll just put those in this way because I know they're there. So then we, I like this idea of having like my little packets in here, but there's just no room for it, I don't think. So it's just not going to fit. That's in the way. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. So that's fine. That's fine. We will take the packets out. This is a good idea. It's a good idea. And we'll just have to put them up front here, I guess, like this. I mean, it's still not the best option, but they're in there, I guess. I mean, it's closed. There's no problem. So I'm not overly happy with this, but I also currently have an abundance of food in the house. Um, so we need to start eating like the cans, veggies and fruits and stuff. Um, we got to start going through and my freezers are full as well. So besides getting like milk and bread and, you know, some fresh fruits and veggies, I think we're going to have to focus on eating what's in the freezers and all the canned stuff because there's, there's just an abundance of it. So that's fine. So we didn't use this, but you know what I'm going to do? I've got some snacks that I took out. I'm going to put the snacks in here. So let me close up for a minute. Let's put some snacks in here. Got some sesame snacks. Which are always yummy. We've got some nuts. Those are always good. So that's fine. So there, we put our little nuts and sesame snaps in here. Um, and I guess I'm just going to set this maybe. Um, on the table. I have a bowl where I kind of keep healthier snacks and things. So when my daughter's hungry, she knows she can just take whatever she wants out of the bowl. So I'm going to stick this beside it. And then that way there's going to be a few options for her. There we go. And we still have quite a few of those. Okay. So let's stick those. I don't like those there. I changed my mind. I'm going to put those over on the counter. Put them on the counter. That's fine. This is garbage. Um, I'm going to throw this sugar cookie mix with the baking stuff, which, like I said, is a mess already, but we'll get to it. Oh, no, it fell out. So we'll get to it. We'll clean things up here at some point. Okay. So now moving on. Okay. I wanted to make sure I thought you stopped filming, but we're good. Okay. So oh, this next one. Okay. You guys, there's a bit of everything. Okay. We've got tape. Okay. We've got a tape gun. We've got staples. I have lots of office supplies up here. We've got a tape roll that doesn't have tape in it. We have more tape. We have a stapler. This stuff honestly doesn't belong in here. I just don't have any place to put these types of things like stationary stuff. I used to have a junk drawer. If you're from like the eighties, you know what a junk drawer is. I used to have one here in the kitchen but we lost it when we put our dishwasher in. So that's kind of frustrating, but that's fine. Um, we've got crazy glue. Okay. 
Uh, we have got my hands mixer. We have got my husband's gum. Ooh, we have got some bits and bites. Okay. Then we've got my food processor. This, you guys, we got to do a try it Thursday with this guy. This is a Ninja food processor. My husband bought me a whole Ninja set. Like you can't even buy it anymore. It literally came with the whole blender with all of the attachments for food processing and everything. I love it. I'm embarrassed to say I've never used it. I've never used it. And I bet if I used it, I would love it. But for the most part, I don't use it because we don't eat a lot of food. So it's just quicker for me just to do up a little bit by hand with a knife. And it's always up in here and it's a pain to get out. So these are all the excuses, but we have to do a try it Thursday because there's so many cool attachments. I don't, I don't even know where the book is. I don't even know how to use it, but we're going to have to figure it out. So this is part of my Ninja food processor. Here's another Ninja, like a processor blender type thing. This is all part of it. This all came as one big set, you guys. I've got my bread maker back here. Again, it's probably been a year since I've made bread, but we're heading into the summer. I think we're going to start making bread again. I think we're going to do it, you guys. So we've got our bread maker. I'm not going to take it out because there's nothing behind it and it's just a pain in the butt. Um, let's just see what else is up here. I need my step stool. Oh, you guys, we have a paintbrush up here. That shouldn't be there. Um, we have got more compartments for the Ninja food processor. Um, and these are all the different blades for the Ninja. That's all that's up on the shelf. So I'm just going to put this stuff back because there's no sense taking it out. Now we have this tiny little shelf up here. Okay, this is where I have more tape. I'm just going to put it here for a minute. Uh, this is our, uh, for our ring doorbell camera, which I'm going to move. We're going to put this with the other stuff. We're going to move that. We've got, ooh, you guys, more tape, more tape. Let me actually get this all done. More tape, more tape. Uh, more packing tape. Ooh, I got another brown sugar disc. I was looking for that. Um, okay, so brown sugar disc. We've got more tape. We've got push pins. Here's where we're getting into all of our office stuff, you guys. Here's all of the office stuff. We have got a tape measure. We have got um, one of those like picture hanging kits that have all the little things in there. We have got uh, little coin wrappers, all the stuff that doesn't have a home. Here's another try it Thursday. We have to do you guys. I, this was a steal of a deal. This is pampered chef brand new in box. Okay. It is the little cast iron pans. You guys brand new. Okay. Look, little cast iron pans plus I got a little uh, nylon scraper with it. Look how adorable these are. Like for little individual, you know, apple crisps or whatever you want to do. You guys, I got this at the Outgrow Up Play sale for $25. These are like over 80 bucks. It was a great deal, but I have yet to use it. I want to. So this is going to have to be a try it Thursday. Okay. Let's make sure we do this on a try it Thursday. Um, let me just set that here for a minute. Okay, what else do we have? We've got more push pins, more tape. Ooh, more tape. We have got a little flashlight, which, oh, it still works. Cool. Flashlight. We have got the very back. Cake 
decorating kits. I bought these with the intention of using them and then I couldn't find them. So I went and bought more. Great. So that can go with the baking. Let's put that down there. That can go with the baking stuff. Now there's nothing left on this. Um, going up. Look, guess what, you guys? We have more tape. More. More tape. Um, we have got decor items, which shouldn't be up here either. So that needs to find a new home. We have got our ice cream maker. Oh, I've got little felt protectors for chairs in here as well. Okay, the ice cream maker. We're going to sell this baby. This is great. This works really well. It's the... Um, I'm always gonna, I always say this wrong. I always do. Cuisine art, cuisine, cuisine art, uh, ice cream maker. This is just the base. I actually bought this used, but it was in really good condition for like, I think 20, 25 bucks. This works really well, to be honest with you, but we got the Ninja creamy. And again, that's going to be a try it Thursday. I just have not had time to do it. So part of me is like, I want to sell this. But let me grab the rest of it. Here's the thing. It makes a really good amount. The Ninja Creamies, they make really small, like just pints, which is fine. Um, but when you want to make like a really big amount, it's kind of nice to have a bigger one. I don't know. We'll probably put it in the basement for now. Uh, and then once we start cleaning out the basement, we'll make some hard decisions if we're going to sell it or not. I'm sure eventually I will come to the conclusion to sell it. I just, I'm not ready to let it go yet. Okay. Um, what else do we have up here? Okay. The only other thing we have up here is my coffee grinder. This is also an amazing coffee grinder. This is also the cuisine art coffee grinder. Um, I haven't used it in a really long time, if I'm being honest. However, I know as soon as I get rid of it, I'm going to want it again. And this one was not cheap. Like, I got it fairly good. I think I paid $60 for it because I think it was like an Amazon deal of the day. But I think these are like over 80, 90 bucks. Um, so we're going to keep the coffee grinder up here for now. I'm just going to push it to the back. Okay. Coffee grinder. Okay, um, you know what we're going to do? Okay, I'm going to put the pamper Chef thing here. I'm going to put the food processor on the top. Okay, I'm going to put it on the top. So let me grab the rest of the food processor. It can go up here on the top. Perfect. Perfect. And then I'm going to put my hands mixer. more of this stuff back in here. All the tape and stationary stuff, I think I'm going to take out in the mudroom. We have a little area. I think I'm going to throw it all in there. It's going to be messy, but we're going to clean the mudroom next Tuesday. So I think I'll just throw it in there. Um, so that'll be fine. So really there's nothing else to go in here. The only thing is I can do my brown sugar disc that can go with the brown sugar. And you know what? These little snacky snacks, I'm going to stick them right here. How about that? Ooh. And then, oh, you know what we can do? Hang on. Yes. We're going to take this.
for all my husband's gum. Okay, because I hate this box. It's such a pain in the butt. Oh, there's 27 packs in here, but okay, there's not that many in here. So maybe I don't need such a big one. Hang on. This is what we have left for his gum. 11 packs. I was going to put it in here, but this obviously is overkill. So maybe we can put his gum in here too. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll just put his gum in here. And then that way it's there. I'm going to move it to the front here. Oops. There. And then I will stick the gum behind these guys. Yay, that fits just like that. The nice thing about put, using these little containers is if you do need something at the back, you just grab the whole container and bring it out. And then it's easy to access the back container. If I had all this stuff just loose in here, you'd make a mess every single time. So I'm kind of liking that. Okay, I kind of like that. Now, I wonder, is this too tall? I think it is. Yeah, that's too tall. Okay, wishful thinking. That's fine. So we have a couple clear containers left, which is good. Um, I could put those in my freezer because they are freezer safe. I might actually also put them... Um, in the basement, when we start organizing down there, we might use them in the basement. So no worries there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Everything else. Oh, my flashlight is so far off. I'm like, what is that light? Oh, it's the flashlight. I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, everything else is either going to go in the mud room, like all the tape and the push pins and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the cake decorating stuff. I'm going to put the baking and then that's all set. And there we go. I mean, it's still really full, but it definitely has a little bit more order to it right now, which is nice. And, um, yeah, I'm debating. Maybe I will keep the tape in here. I'll put it up here because this is a very narrow shelf. There's not a lot I can put on that shelf, but it's just because of how the appliances, how big they are and how much space they take up, which is why that shelf is so narrow. So maybe I'll stick all the tapes up here um, and then like the tape gun, that kind of stuff. And then that'll be good. So yeah, I'm happy with it. It's definitely a little more organized. Um, so you guys, that was it. Our kitchen's done now. Our kitchen's done. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, so like I said, next Tuesday, we're going to work on the mud room. It's what I call the mud room. It's kind of where my laundry area is as well as um, the back door into our backyard. Um, so that's what we're doing next Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing good with these Toss It Tuesdays. I hope this is motivating you and helping you to maybe clean up some areas of your home that you've been neglecting for a while. Um, so let me know in the comments how things are going. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.